Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to edit to a beat quickly in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I did right here is I created this entire sort of edit in about, I would say maybe a minute and a half to, to five minutes, anywhere in that range, nothing longer than that. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you is how to get Adobe to automate this process. So let's just listen to a little bit of it and then we'll jump into the tutorial. So as you can see, the music sort of influences the edit here. The edit is changing with the music. And like I said, I automated this, so I didn't have to create all these edits and try to figure it all out. I had made Adobe do it for me. And so that is what we are going to be covering today. Let's get started by creating ourselves a new sequence up here, file new sequence. We are then going to just go ahead and we can drag in some footage just to make sure those sequence settings are correct. Didn't ask me to change, so they are correct in this instance. But what we want to do first is we want to drag in our audio. We need to find an audio clip and we need to drag it in because that's what we're going to be using as sort of the basis for our edit. So in this situation, I'm using this clip that I got from the YouTube studio, which is just like you heard in the last one, a sort of, you know, something with a, a beat driven sound to it. What I want to do now is I want to zoom in right here and we need a couple of things to make this work. The first thing is we're going to be creating markers on all of the beats. So we need to make sure that our add marker button right here, we need to look at its it's a keyboard shortcut. And then for me, it's M and I believe M is the default. If you want to go to your keyboard shortcuts, go up to edit and then keyboard shortcuts and then just search for add marker like so and you'll see it's right here change it to m or change it to anything that you can press sort of like with a beat something you can be like done 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 with just find a key that you like set it to that and we are good to go the next thing we're going to do is we need to make sure that we are not selected on the clip we don't want to be selected on the clip here we want to be just nothing selected just having the sequence selected and now what we're going to do is we're going to just play this song and after every beat of where we want it to change we're going to click the m key to add a marker so i'm going to hit the space bar to get it started and then i'm just going to listen for the beat and add some markers in so let's go And there we go. So I just added in those markers. If we had more footage, we could keep going. If you don't have enough footage, it's only going to fill up as much as we get to. I'll talk about that in just a second. But these are our markers right here. And so what we've done is we basically created a marker on every beat. So you kind of have to be a little bit, you know, um, I guess musical in the sense that you need to be able to hit the beats. However, you'll see that these are not perfect and the, the edit still comes out looking really good and we can make tiny adjustments later. What we're doing is just speeding up our workflow. So now that we have all of this selected and ready to go, what we're gonna do next is we need to add in our clips. And to add in our clips, we are going to basically make Adobe do it for us. So what we should first do is we need to go over to our clips and we need to look at them individually and create start and end point. So Adobe knows what parts of the clip we wanna keep. So in this situation, you'll see that I don't wanna keep this starting cause that's me you know, clicking the record button and getting everything situated and then I start the pan and I don't wanna keep this ending here. Maybe I only wanted it to go to the battleship right here and then cut out. Easily and quickly do this, all you gotta do is just find the clip. For example, this one, uh, let's go something like a little bit more. Yeah, right here. The beginning right here is sort of, um, again, me just trying to get things ready. So the I and O button, or right here for I and O, you wanna mark something in, get to a point where you, you know, let's say right before this bus passes, just right there is what we wanna keep. Go right to make it go out. What this is gonna do is when Adobe adds this automatically, it's just gonna go ahead and start it right here. And if the clip is long enough before the next beat, it'll go ahead and find a place to end it as well. Um, we make sure that it's not going to show footage that we don't want to. So you wanna go through your footage and do all of that. Once you have everything marked in and out, then you just go right through here and you just select your footage. And so how you select your footage is important. Maybe you want it to be random. In that case, just select them at random. If you want them all to be sequential, select them in just by you know clicking at the top one and holding shift to bring it all the way down to the bottom. But if you want a certain order to your footage, go ahead and select it in that order. So we're gonna click the first one. I'm gonna hold the control key. We're gonna go like every other one then basically them sort of at random here. Uh, just holding the, the control key while I do this. Make sure you're kind of like, um, I don't know, I guess, don't do this too fast because if you miss and drag, it actually duplicates the footage. But anyway, once you have them all selected, we are going to then sort of put them into the, the clip here. So we're gonna go up to clip. 
we're gonna go down to automate to sequence and we want our ordering to be the selection ordering not the sort ordering if we wanted to just go top to bottom we can select them all and click sort but we want it to be selection so we have control over it then down here instead of it being sequentially what we want is at the unnumbered markers which are these new markers that we have added and we want it to overwrite edit we want it to use the um, in and out range that we have determined over here. And then all we have to do is click the OK button. Sometimes you'll notice that your footage maybe gets placed to the right, and that's just because your cursor is over here. Make sure to drag it back to the beginning before you click the OK button, and then it'll look for markers. Because if it can't find markers, it just places them all sequentially after the markers are gone. We're going to click the OK button, and you'll notice that it has placed our footage like so and there's a cut at every one of our markers. So now let's play through our new edit right here and let's take a listen. And there we have it. Adobe has now basically added in the markers for us. It, I mean, it's done the editing for us through the markers. And that is how you can speed up a workflow tremendously. If you have just a bunch of B-roll that you just want to, you know, play for a minute, you can sit there and try to put in every single one and edit it down. And it might take you 30 minutes to sort of get that one minute looking good. Or you can have Adobe do this for you at the very beginning. And then if you want to make some small edits later on, maybe to make this perfectly on beat, or maybe you want to change some of the footage around, you have something to work with, something you can just quickly drag and drop, move stuff around and get it going. So that is it. That is how you basically make Adobe Premiere Pro edit for you. It, you make it create the, the sequence that you want it to create really, really fast with just a click of the button. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.